biological video from Smart Biology Tricks. So in this video, we are going to learn about uh, concepts of bioinformatics. So bioinformatics is uh, one of the applications of biotechnology. So we have uh, already posted another video in our channel regarding biotechnology and its application. So bioinformatics is a branch of biotechnology which gives a lot of opportunities for job oriented searches and also research searches. So um, bioinformatics, what is the meaning of bioinformatics? So here uh, the term can be uh, separated into two terms that is bio and then informatics. So bio means it is living that we know very well. So informatics means it is a data. So data which is collected from the biological organisms that is called information. So information in the sense how the information should be. So the information may be the DNA or RNA or it is a protein. Some cases the enzymes and uh, the structure of the enzymes. So those things are also considered as a data. Right. So these are the biological data. So in general, so data means it is an information. Right? So it is an information of any individual or it is an information of any uh, village or it is an information of any country or etc. So how the data is being collected that is very important and the storage of the collected data is very important for the processing and then uses. So this is what the information is being collected from the any kind of field experiments. So similarly, the biological data. So we can apply our biological samples in this flow so that the biological data that is DNA or RNA or protein is being extracted from the living organism, right? So from the organism, the biological data is retrieved and then after collection, the, the information is being sequenced. In case of DNA, it is sequenced or RNA or protein, the information is being sequenced by using some biological equipments. And then how we can store, right? If it is a physical data, we can store. The huge amount of biological data cannot be stored in physical nature, either in a printed format or in the soft copy, we cannot keep for a long period of time. For that purpose, a new branch of biology which arises to overcome the issues that is faced by data scientists. So here the collected uh, information, biological information being deposited in the websites, right? So there are some repositories that is available in, uh, in internet. We can store the biological information in the search engines. So it is very similar to Google. So if you are, if any, if we are using Google no, for collecting or understanding to know some informations, right? And also to store some informations also, we use search engines and internet. So similarly, the biological information can be stored with many uh, DNA repositories or biological repositories. So some of them are NCBI, right? So NCBI means it is National Center for biotechnology information right so with this website we can collect n number of uh, dna sequences or rna sequences or protein sequences uh, and orf open reading frame so that, that is called open reading frame means orf so that kind of sequences can be collected and processed and then that, that can be uh, used for some research purpose so NCBI means National Center for Biotechnology Information. And another website that is repository, DNA uh, genetic repository, that is DDBJ. So DDBJ means the expansion of DDBJ is DNA Data Bank of Japan. So each and every country is having own genetic repositories for the storing of the uh, sequenced biological information. And also EMBL. So European Molecular Biology Laboratory and PDB means Protein Data Bank. So similarly, so there are many uh, biological data repositories are available that is used for storing the biological information. And coming back to the applications of the bioinformatics. The subject called bioinformatics is very useful. So once you have isolated the genetic material that has been sequenced, 
the genetic information, the data present in the biological sample that can be processed and submitted in the websites and can be permanently stored in the repositories. That can be used for any kind of analysis during the future use. So the main applications of the bioinformatics are to store the huge biological data. So biological data is very huge. For example, uh, if you take our human body, there are a lot of cells present in our body. For example, we have brain cells, hot tissue cells, soft cells are present in hot tissues and lung cells we have and uh, adipose tissues we have and epithelial cells there are etc there are many kind of cells that we have in our body so all the kind of cells are having nucleic acids so all the nucle nucleic acids are completely not same right some variations will be there so to sequence all the genetic material it is a tough job to store all the genetic information so to store the huge biological data so the huge amount of biological data can be processed and then stored to retrieve the data at a your time so whenever the biological data the sequence is needed at the right time it can be retrieved from the websites and to compare the existing information with the new sequences for example if you are isolating a new bacteria uh, but you are unable to understand the name of the bacteria you cannot identify so we, you can compare the dna sequence of new isolate with the existed one right so the existed one where you can find the existed one al already it was stored in the repository and to overcome the pandemic situations how far these bioinformatics will helpful in pandemic situations here comes a reason so during the pandemic situations like corona so we unable to find what the microorganism is responsible for the disease. So if we isolate the genetic material, we can compare the genetic material with the existing one. So that we can come to know immediately what the bacteria or the pathogenic organism that is infecting the humans. So these are all the wide and some of the important applications of bioinformatics. So with this, uh, you can understand the basic fundamental concepts of bioinformatics and the techniques involved in bioinformatics. So thank you so much for watching.